There can be many downsides to going to a metal concert. You can get covered in someone else's beer, some belligerent may try to fight you because his wife farted on you, the band could suck, or maybe the concert is a complete ripoff fest, as we've talked about plenty of times on this channel. But never before has such an atrocity occurred at a metal show that rivals the horror at this year's Hyperspace Festival in Vancouver. A tragedy has occurred. What cruel viciousness did these poor patrons succumb to? Well, headbangers, hold on to your butts for this. This festival wasn't attacked by protesters, terrorists, or the Nazgul, but by the ever-frightening terror of the Beach Ball the ever-renowned summer play toy and weapon of mass destruction. One very unhappy camper took to the interwebs to reveal this madness to the world, and before we get into this, yes, this is actually real. I don't know how, but this really happened. Before we get into it, I must say that the guy who posted this complaint either went back and deleted it or privated it after it started quickly going viral. Unfortunately for him, I kept the receipts. <laughs> But fortunately for him, I'm not a complete dickhead, so I did clip his name out of the shot. I am kind. I don't want to harass anybody here, but I am going to relentlessly mock the most asinine cuckoo concert Karen complaint I've ever read in my life. So strap your helmets on everyone, it's gonna get kooky. <laughs> Headbang the like button, stage dive onto the subscribe button, and windmill the video to your friends. And did you know that for just 99 cents a month, you can help support a broke-ass metalhead make stupid videos? If you're a fan of the channel and you'd like to show your support, consider becoming a member. Memberships are only 99 cents a month, and each one really helps me toward my goal of creating a life-sized Godzilla to invade Canada. Our Karen in question went on a full tirade here, and while the term Karen would make you think this was some kid mom? This was actually a dude that suffered this beach ball meltdown. That's not your mother, it's a man, baby! Yes, folks, apparently men can suffer from Karen syndrome as well. Quote, I attended the three-day hyperspace festival at the rickshaw facility and wanted to inform you of my experience on the last day, Saturday, April 13th, 2024, a day that will live in infamy. Please pass this on to whoever is appropriate. I am not sure whose idea the beach balls were, but they were extremely distracting as they caught my eye when they went up in the air, and I had to look at each one for a second to make sure I wasn't going to get hit in the face by something that had been on the ground and touched by many people. I have to ask here, who the hell sees a beach ball in the air and their first thought is, oh my goodness gracious, how many hands have touched that thing? And how presumptuous of you, author, to assume that these fine metalheads at this establishment don't clean their balls. You have to keep your balls clean. I hope the quality of the music is such that you don't need distractions for the audience. Because everyone knows the deep secret in the music industry, that if your band sucks, just throw balls in the crowd's face. And honestly, I came for the metal music, not for the beach balls. If I wanted those, I would have gone. Where would you have gone? It's in the name to the beach. With three or four of them up in the air at times, at the same time, I felt the need to keep my hands up at all times, which isn't how I consume my music. I understand, King Karen. I too like consuming my live metal music by standing rigidly still as if a sensei is watching me with a bamboo stick. This man saw four inflatable beach balls playfully bouncing around the audience and threw his arms up in a panic like he was in the movie Birds. What was worse, yes, it gets worse, everybody, was when I went into the lobby to speak to a manager. I can't breathe! Yes, you did hear that correctly, ladies and gentlemen. This creature here just went full-blown super-duper saying King Karen and is seeking the manager over beach balls. This person seriously does not like having balls in their face. That's why you have to keep your balls clean. To suggest not having beach balls at the next event, one of my worst customer service experiences of my life occurred. 
Oh, do pray tell, complaint King Karen, of the tragedy that has been bestowed upon you. The lady who checks the tickets didn't know anything about beach balls, who the manager was, and said something vague about a tour manager, but didn't know who it was or where he she'd be. This goonish cretin went and bothered some random ticket taker and was flabbergasted that they didn't know all of life's deep mysteries. And speaking of concerts, before we continue, and yeah, this brings me right neatly along to the sponsor of this video, me and my band Dark Insanity. We are performing our first festival in Europe called Tolminator, which takes place in Slovenia this summer, and we could really use your help to get there. We have started a GoFundMe to help us get over the pond and bring our metal to the headbangers out there, and any help we could get along the way would be greatly appreciated. Link to the page can be found in the description of this video, as well as links to many other cool things I offer. Anyway, back to the video. My next stop, your next stop. He is continuing his crusade. This aggression will not stand, man. My next stop was the bartender, who is the owner or manager in some establishments. Yeah, maybe at Bob's Hole in the Wall. Probably not at a venue that's hosting a couple hundred people. Have you been outside before, sir? Are you Bubble Boy? I cannot say enough bad things about how this man treated me, especially for someone who is in a quote, people industry. He didn't know who the rickshaw manager was either, or who I should speak to. But instead of apologizing and saying he didn't know who I should talk to, he instead argued with me, accused me of ruining other people's fun, and at one point said, get out of my face. How dare you, sir? How dare you? No, how dare you? You dare to damn me? How dare you? How dare me when I how dare you, you big peepee -pee head? This poor bartender just closing out, ready to get off their shift, and this Plato brain goobers harassing him about balls. I don't know who this bartender is, but he deserves a bonus. King Karen, are you surprised that a bartender told you to fuck off? You are seeking the manager to complain about something that was entertaining for the entire crowd, and you think you're being quote, accused? You are literally the biggest fun ruiner I've ever seen in my life. You're more of a buzzkill than a funeral home on Mother's Day. King Karen continues, My request is for an apology regarding this kind of treatment and service, and a suggestion that, quote, employees of an establishment, whether they are actual employees, contractors, or work for someone else but are on the premises, know who the manager is for customer complaints. I cannot differentiate between who works at the club, who is part of the festival or tour, or who is completely independent. If that's how it works, everyone should know who is in charge. This strange specimen thinks that at every metal show, a leader should walk out on stage and go, attention everyone, I will be your captain for this evening. The bartender should be disciplined and ideally not have customer interaction because he is an angry human being. Sir. Sir! Sir! Sir, the bartender is the second person you've harassed over something that every single other person at the venue enjoyed except for your weird mutant brain and you think he is an angry human being. I'm not convinced at all that you are even a human being. What planet does King Karen hail from, Uranus? And please, have no more blow-up toys of any kind at any of the events. Thank you in advance. For the love of God, no blow-up toys of any kind at any events? If a band like The Addicts or even, let's say, Metallica comes to town and the band want to throw their balls at the crowd and the venue wants to throw balls at the crowd and the audience wants to bounce balls around, oh, you better think twice because King Karen says nay nay. There will be no fun having with him around. He is the ball blocker. So having read all that, dear viewers, I think now would be a good time for all of us to come together and ask ourselves, what the fuck even? The festival in question is primarily a melodic and power metal festival, and their fans especially love being ridiculous. That's exactly the kind of show I would expect to see metalheads being silly and playing with inflatable objects. Especially when a band like Trollfest is on the lineup. Not exactly the most dead serious of performers. So yeah, this was just super fucking bizarre. King Karen, the concert complainer, may have got anonymous, and I'm honestly happy to keep it that way, but this post shall be marked down in the Book of Heavy Metal as the most insane 
asinine, straight up, unabashed Karen shit of all time. Man, what a weirdo. For more from me, check out my band Dark Insanity on Instagram, here on the channel, and now on all streaming platforms. We just released our debut EP, Rabid Psychosis, now available. You can find us on Spotify, on iTunes, on Apple Music, on OnlyFans, we're everywhere. <laughs> And even more exciting news, I now have official merch available for the channel. Now you can get White's Metal and Dark Insanity gear. Everything from shirts, hats, hoodies, beanies, travel bags, stickers. Now you can hide your weed in a bag with my name on it. How cool is that? Go to whitesmetal.spreadshop.com to see everything available, or you can click on the link in the description of this video. Links to all of my cool stuff can be found in the description below. Anyway, that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next video.